What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and like promised, I wanted to compare iOS 10 to iOS 9 current firmware in a speed comparison video. So this is gonna be pretty complex. I will be comparing the first iOS 10 beta across a range of every device that currently supports it. So starting from the iPhone 5 to 5S, to iPhone 6, 6S, and iPhone SE, as well as some tests with the larger 6S Plus. This won't be easy, this won't be short, but I promise it will be informative, and I'm gonna show you how your current firmware on iOS 9 compares to Apple's upcoming iOS 10. Little disclaimer, because this is the first beta of iOS 10, this does not represent iOS 10 completely. The performance is likely to get much, much better towards the end when it's about to get released, so don't judge iOS 10 by this video, but I still wanna see how the first beta compares to the most latest firmware. And just a shout out to every device that lost its support today for the latest iOS 10 version, including my favorite, the iPhone 4S. It's gonna be sad to see you guys go but you magnificent bastard, you did well. You served me well, one of my favorite phones ever. All right, guys, let's get to the test. All right, so very first test will be a startup test. On the left, with the blue background is iOS 9.3.2. On the right, with a greenish C background, is iOS 10 Beta 1, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, and iPhone 6, the three oldest devices. Wow, and you guys have to see this. So actually, while turning them off, Look at that, look how much faster iOS 10 brings up the shutdown menu versus iOS 9 on the left. Really cool little change. So in regard to shutdown time, iOS 10 is already winning there. All right, starting up in three, two, one. And here we go. Now, my personal prediction is iOS 10 will be slower just because there are so many new features. And iOS 10 on older devices, of course, will be watered down and all, but hey, I still do expect it to be bogged down by those features and reflected through this test. Anyways, so uh, of course, ooh, iOS 9 did start up, wow, considerably faster. And same with this guy on the iPhone 5S, at least five seconds faster. But I do like the fact that it just jumps to the home screen on iOS 10, pretty neat feature. So uh, yeah, slide to unlock is pretty much no more. And lastly, the iPhone 5, also on iOS 9, but not that much slower, iOS 10 is probably two seconds behind. So iOS 9 is still the winner here. So sizing all over the place, but 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE. Again, 9.3.2 is on the left. Starting up in three, two, one, and they're off. So the iPhone SE was actually the fastest booting device ever in my every iPhone speed comparison. So I have really good hope for it here. Ooh, 9.3.2 was faster on all of them actually, wow. So uh, see for yourselves guys, iOS 10 does boot slower. That's certainly no deal breaker, but hopefully in the future of iOS 10 betas, it does get a little bit better. So starting with the iPhone 5, let's see on a device per device basis, how much faster or slower iOS 10 is. How about time to unlock device? Here we go. And wow, it's actually not that much different. So here you have to slide here, you have to press pretty much the same. All right, let's try Spotlight Search. iOS 10 is slower. Control Center. Oh my gosh, that lag. Notification Center, pretty much identical here. App Switcher, two, and that is just about the same. So let's launch a couple apps. First off with Settings. iOS 9, clearly the winner. Going to General. Submenus are faster on iOS 9 as well, so hey, not very good news. All right, let's try a web-based app, the App Store. And it is faster by several seconds as well, unfortunately. Let's try a camera. It was faster to load and focus on iOS 9, that is. And just the last one, let's try Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on both of these devices. I'm going to skip through it because it does take a while, but I'll just basically say which one loaded it first. And loading times are a little bit faster on iOS 9 here. And loading a web page, reddit.com. Let's try that out. And looks pretty even, but nope. One more, cnn.com. And here we go. So hopefully it doesn't give me another awful title like in my last comparison. But yeah, again, CNN is loading faster on iOS 9. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to mention on the iPhone 5 is storage before and after updating. So before updating, 10.2 gigabytes was available after 10.71, and the total capacity seems to have been raised by a little over half a gigabyte. Interesting. So with the 5S, let's start with the Touch ID speed with the screen on. And no difference here with the screen off. Absolutely the same. 
So actually, I want to show you first the storage before and after on the 5S. 8.4 gigabytes available after updating 8.65, and the capacity was raised as well. So getting some storage back on both devices already. Spotlight Search, 1, 2. Pretty much the same. App Switcher, 1, 2. Oh, iOS 9 or iOS 10 has a slight delay there. Control Center, ooh, terrible. Notification Center, ooh, pretty much a little bit faster on iOS 10 here. Clearing the App Switcher. Let's launch some apps here with settings. Ooh, about the same here. General. Submenus are slower on iOS 10. Yeah, so definitely slower. And closing apps, I noticed on newer devices is actually slower, which is interesting. So App Store, one, two, and off it goes. This is web-based, but still loads faster on iOS 9 by a good three to four seconds. And camera, one, two. Ooh, definitely slower on iOS 10 as well. iPhone 6, starting with the fingerprint sensor speed. And iOS 9, read that one faster. Maybe a misread. Let's try that again. One, two. Oh, so different results this time. iOS 10 is faster. Yeah, for some reason, iOS 10 seems to read it faster on the iPhone 6. Let's try with screen on. And indeed, just a little bit faster with the screen on. Okay, spotlight search. iOS 9, got to give it to that one. And let's try control center. So about the same there. Notification center, about the same. Clearing up the app switcher, which launched about the same. Let's launch settings. iOS 10, loaded this one faster. General submenus are faster on iOS 9. Still, this is something that's going to bother me for sure. App Store, one, two. And it appears that iOS 9 is still the winner for the web based apps and camera. iOS 10 opened that one faster. Okay, good stuff. iPhone success, fingerprint sensor speed. iOS 9, wow. Once more. This time it was a little bit more even. Let's try with the screen on. And about the same here. Cool. Spotlight search sliding down about the same. Notification center equal. Control center. Ooh, a little bit of a delay on iOS 10, but not by much. Just a little bit, you know, janky. App switcher. Wow, that was absolutely slow. One, two. Oh my gosh, that delayed reaction. That's really going to bother me. One, two. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this out right here and we're gonna launch some apps here. With a cleared app switcher, let's try that, one, two. Still delayed. All right, so let's try settings, one, two. Oh, definitely better on iOS 10. Submenus are the same here. Let's try camera. iOS 10 loaded it faster. So I'm seeing a turn where in iOS 10 on the newer devices, camera loads faster. Let's try app store. And iOS 9 still loads this one faster. So Apple needs to make some improvements, certainly, to uh, the web-based app loading times. Let's try weather on this guy, see if it's still faster. And it is still faster on iOS 9. Wow. How about maps? Let's just load this guy real quick. About the same, I'd say. Now, I'm not going to do the iPhone 6S Plus because pretty much the same as the iPhone 6S. The only thing I'm going to test is if my famous issue... Oh my... No! Apple! Why? Oh... Okay, one time it did the glitch, the laggy glitch. Another time it is working better. Oh my gosh. Gave me a heart attack for a minute there. Touch ID speed on the SE. And it appears the iPhone on iOS 9 was faster. Let's try that one more time. Again, it is faster. Let's try with the display on though. So one, two. This time it's about the same. Spotlight search. A little bit glitchy here, but about the same speed, notification center, about the same control center delayed on iOS 10 again, app switcher, pretty much the same, let's clear this out, and opening up settings, iOS 9 was slower surprisingly, and sub menus here, iOS 10 delay again. I feel like I am repeating myself over and over, but the results are pretty much reproducible on all devices. App store, and again iOS 9 is faster here, let's try the camera. Wow, Apple did some good improvements to the camera. So enough of the smaller stuff. Let's get into the big picture with the Geekbench. All right, and here is the result of the Geekbench. So in almost every case, except the iPhone 6S Plus, 
the single core score is higher on iOS 10. Now, how this translates to usage, we saw not much. The animations themselves may be a little bit slower in iOS 10, but it doesn't appear to be too much slower. Not as big of a difference as iOS 8 was going to iOS 9. So not too bad here. Wow, so quite a disturbing result. Now, on every device except for the iPhone 5, the Wi-Fi speed test was lower on the same device on iOS 10. Not significantly, but enough to make a difference. So that worries me, but hopefully by the time it's released, it will have been fixed. So there's just one last test I want to do, and I'm going to do a quick test of operating temperature under intense load. So running GFX Bench for about five minutes on all these devices, I'm going to go ahead and measure what the temperature of the device is on its hottest point. Wow, so these are absolutely scorching hot. As you can see, iOS 9 actually runs hotter than iOS 10. Possibly iOS 10 is a little bit more efficient. Now, how that translates to battery life, I'm very, very curious. So I will have a battery life comparison up for you guys tomorrow. All right, so guys, that is my iOS 10 versus iOS 9.3.2 comparison. Remember, this is a beta video. It will change towards the final release and I will have a full speed test then. I know it was long, but I also hope it was worth it for you guys to see the difference. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for many more videos to come. Peace.